Hi, I'm Chas with Chas's Crazy Creations, and today we're going to make an easy welcome sign for your porch. Let's get started. We had a bunch of scrap wood on hand from redoing the roof of our gazebo. I explained the look that I was going for, and my husband helped me cut the wood. The edges were a little rough, so I took a sanding block that I got from Dollar Tree and sanded all of the edges to make sure that they were nice and smooth. I love that the sanding block was only a dollar and was just the right thing to use for this project. Once I was done sanding the piece, I made sure to wipe it down with a damp cloth to free it of all the dust and debris before moving forward. Next, I wanted to use Folk Art Home Decor Wood Tint in the color Walnut. I'm a huge fan of this color. Using my plaid brush, I painted the wood tint onto my wood. I love this wood tint because it is water soluble, which means easy cleanup, both on your skin and on your brushes. I also love that the wood grain can still be seen through this stain. You can paint it with one coat for a lighter effect or more coats for a darker effect. You can also paint it on and then use a rag to wipe off the excess. It's really easy to work with and it dries super fast. Once I had the entire plank painted, I went ahead and let it dry completely before moving on to the next step. While I was at the Target dollar spot, I had picked up these welcome wooden letters for just $3 at the store. I knew they would come in handy and I was just waiting for the opportunity to use them and this was it. Next I'd be using Folk Art Home Decor Wood Tint in the color Cascade, which is an amazing and beautiful blue color. Using my paintbrush, I dipped it into the wood tint and then painted it onto each wood letter. Again, you can go light with one coat or let it dry and then add a second coat for a darker look. For these letters, I went with one coat. Once all of the letters were painted, I let them dry completely before moving on to the next step. Once the letters were dry, I spaced them out onto the long plank. Have you seen these trending signs somewhere in your neighborhood? And I used Elmer's wood glue to adhere the letters onto the long wood plank. I put the glue on each letter and then placed it onto the wood plank and let it dry. Once all of the letters were in place and glued on, I let the whole thing dry completely. My sign is ready for my front porch and I'm so excited. It'll greet people as they come to our front door and I was able to complete this project for just a fraction of the cost you can find them at other places. I hope this inspires you to make a welcome sign of your own. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.